Here we go. Here we are. Hello, patrons. Hello, friends. Uh, still doing Lego Lord of the Rings. Um, might just be doing that for the rest of the month at this point. Uh, we shall see. Um, you all know the drill. Let's hop right into it. Wearing mithril gloves forged by the blacksmith will allow any character to swing on poles. Oh, I, I'm uh, Arwen now. Cool. I kind of expected that I'd be uh, literally hitting the ground running. Well, I guess Arwen's horse can't swim. I expected I'd be literally like right in the middle of a chase when this level started, but I guess not. That was a very brief bit of playability and then cutscene. We will be going on money, I really um expected that level to have way more chasing than it did. Okay, well, I guess we're just in Rivendell now. I own the dog paddle. Press Z to start fish. Again, I think it's giving me randomly generated hints that have nothing to do with anything that's actually happening. Anyway, I guess we move on to book two now. We're on to many meetings. Oh, we still have to like make it up to the last only house, I guess. I am confused by... Uh, the choices of actual like level. I do love a good classic Lego horse design. Yeah, the horse riding parts didn't have much in the way of gameplay, did they? It's just kind of moving from point A to point B between cutscenes. Oh, am I gonna play this part now? Is the delay playable? Hey, it's the bit they already recreated in the opening logo. Lego Moth. There is only one Lord of the Rings. And the eagle. <laughs> Gua here is the Lord of the Rings. Twist ending. Okay, not playable, just another cutscene. So much loading between segments of a cutscene. <laughs> okay, that's a good gag. That's a very good gag. I'm just going to explore Rivendell for a bit before we get to the council. Or is this entire stream going to be cutscenes? Is that what we're uh, going to find here? No, oh, actual movability. Okay. If this is anything like uh, the Rivendell in uh, Hobbit GBA, I hope there's like a dumb mini game around the corner. Only a coat hanger can defeat the Lord of the Rings. Here are these priceless elven artifacts I'm just going to beat the ever-loving crap out of. Okay, wait. This is Lothlorien music. <laughs> this is uh, this is not Rivendell music. Wait, I, I have to buy Bilbo? <laughs> Fuck you, Bilbo, if I have to buy you. Bye-bye, Bilbo. Too bad you have to go. Hey, an actual elf. Are you Elrond? I can't tell. Or are you just... Lindir, are you that out of focus elf in the background in that one shot? The amazing view from Weathertop inspired me to write a poem. Trouble is, I left my only quill up there. Perhaps you'd be kind enough to fetch it for me. So I gotta go back to Weathertop for a quill for this elf who I'm assuming is Lindir, because Lindir talks poetry with Bilbo. And this is one of those rooms where the way the camera is locked down makes me think they're hiding something fun from me, but they usually actually aren't. <laughs> just arrows floating in the sky pointing them on their quest it would have uh made it much harder for them to get lost outside mordor why not use this ring you cannot why not Zordberg? gondor needs no king <laughs> like unless you're embarrassing me you shall be the fellowship of the ring bilbo oh now we get the reunion even though I literally could have bought you a minute ago. Well, I guess I'll find out in the future what it means to buy Bilbo, or I won't. Who knows? Also, in the book, Bilbo was actually part of the council. So uh, so I guess this game technically gets that more accurate than uh, the movie did. Press Z to light a Lego file. All right. I have Sting now, and I'm going to use Sting. And I'm going to make the whole fellowship watch me just attack rocks with a sword. Boy, this Wiimote emulation is twitchy. Not twitch as in live streaming, twitch as in hopping all over the place. I might need to calibrate the fake Wiimote. Anyway, now that I'm finally Lego Legoless, Lego more, shooting flowers with a bow and arrow. Not at all a waste of resources. Lego Boromir looks kind of like Lego Doctor Strange. Okay, so uh, I'm guessing I need to be Legolas to walk on the snow. A friendship begins. Tch. 
Hey, that was one of those good avalanches, apparently. This is a very um, Rube Goldberg mountain. Up and at him, big boy. Stop showboating and just smash the damn rock. You shall be the Donna Party of the Ring. Oh no, skeleton with that hat. Is that the skeleton of Tom Bombadil? Are we going to catapult ourselves? Oh, I see. Grappling hook. So he's not quite extreme sports legless here. He's just trapeze artist. Good thing these contraptions were, you know, lying about waiting to be used by us. I have a feeling this is going to be a Gimli quest. Deploying Hugh Gimli. Oh, I hear a fell voice on the air. I think we're getting to the end of uh, this portion. Don't shout during an avalanche, dude. Just a lot of carrying my boys across the way. Nothing to see here. Can I not crawl in that hole? I really thought I'd be able to crawl in that hole. Okay, I guess it was Sam I needed to carry this time for once. <laughs> I needed to build an entrance before I could crawl in that cave. That's dumb. That's dumb. I mean, it's more than he does in the movies, at least at this point in the movies. Oh, <laughs> turns out I, I, well, you were just here, buddy. Why did you have, why did you crawl here only to crawl away? <laughs> Looks like uh, Saruman's not the only one trying to bring down the mountain. This part is repetitive. Boy, we really haven't needed Boromir for anything, have we? Let the ring bearer decide. <laughs> They will go through the mine. Only so I don't have to put up with any more of Merry and Pippin's snow shenanigans. Yeah, that uh, feet fur only does so much. So, uh, have a great uh, rest of your holiday weekend, everyone. And until next time, this is Dave signing off. Mm -hmm.